Clavio versus Omnisend, which is the better email marketing tutorial. Hey guys, today I'm going to give you guys a concise comparison between Clavio and Omnisend and which is the better uh, email marketing software for the price point and in general, what might be the better pick for you. Now, starting off with their prices, because um, for most people, it's most essential that their prices match up. And in this situation, Clavio and Omnisend are priced pretty competitively. I must say, this is the most close comparison I have done for any two email marketing softwares. Now, Starting off with their features and free versions, if you even actually go to Omnisend's blog, they have a blog written on the differences between Clavio and Omnisend, and I am just going to show you guys the price differences where at 500 subscriber count, you're going to get this for free, so you don't have to pay the 20 and 16 dollars in reality. But moving on, in general, Clavio and Omnisend are almost the same, while Omnisend is slightly cheaper than Clavio. It's around a 10 to 15 percent price difference. So let's say if you want to send 10,000 people your emails, you're gonna pay $150 on Clavio, while on Omnisend you can pay $115. So there's a slight price difference, but Omnisend has two plans and the pro plan on Omnisend is the same price as the Clavio basic plan. So that is something to keep into consideration. Now, both of these email marketing software provide email and SMS marketing as well. So that is also something that you should keep into consideration that if you are looking for a email plus SMS marketing software, both of these are very, very, very good options. Now, if we were to say based on the features that they have, well, you can say in terms of emails, you can see you have emails and SMS, you have browser push notifications, and that is the only thing that is not present here on Clavio. Other than that, they have generally the same kind of features in terms of channels and features. And the only thing that Omnisend does not have is app notifications. So for iOS, Omnisend does not have any push notifications. But if we were to compare some other of their segmentation features, well, Google retargeting ads are the only thing that are not present on Klaviyo. All other segmentation features such as profile data, campaign activity, shopping behavior, custom properties, Facebook audiences, all of these are present on both of these email marketing softwares. Now, you can see this interactive spin the wheel kind of box. This is something that Clavio cannot do. Now, this is something that is unique to Omnisend and it's a lot more easier to do this in your email with Omnisend as compared to Clavio. And this gives you a far more interactive look in general. And what you cannot do on Clavio as well is that you cannot create your landing page and you cannot make you know these kinds of pop-ups as well. So in that regard, Omnisend is a lot more interactive and can make your uh, click-through rate a lot higher. So your CTR can be a lot higher if you're using Omnisend. Now, if we were to take a look at their email building features, most of these features are present in both. So your drag and drop builders, your email templates, your mobile response, your A-B testing, your savable content blocks. Now, the only thing Clavio does not have is the gamification, so making those interactive games. And then you have certain product recommendations that you cannot do on Clavio. In general, other than that, both of them are the same. And the price for Omnisend is slightly less than Clavio. Now, you might be wondering, I am going towards the side of Omnisend, and that's true. I do lean towards Omnisend because I do find it slightly more useful than Clavio, but that does not mean in any regard that Clavio is not a good email marketing software. But I do think that it's like two steps behind Omnisend. Now, if we were to compare the 
dashboards and overall looks and usability of OmniSend and Klaviyo because that can be a making or breaking point for some people because if you don't like the workspace you're not going to be able to optimally work on their platform. Now this is Klaviyo's basic platform and I must say I like the look of Klaviyo's platform far 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 more than I like OmniSend. I really don't like the look of OmniSend. I find that Klaviyo's platform is a lot more clean, while OmniSend's platform feels like a fake modernistic look is provided in OmniSend. You can see everything is on the left here on Klaviyo, so you can see your basic dashboard where you can see objective, performance, analytics, lists and segmentations, and activity feed. All of your basic information is provided here. After that, you can view your campaigns your flows, email templates, sign up forms, SMS conversations, you have your lists and segments, profiles, analytics, integrations, catalog, data feeds, preference pages, brand library, and tags. Now, another major difference where I think Klaviyo actually surpasses OmniSend is in terms of email templates. Now, I'm going to open their email templates and show you guys the different templates that they provide and how they are really ahead in that game. Even though their templates are a lot more, uh, OmniSend provides more features like those pop-up gamification features. So even if OmniSend does not have uh, as many features as Klaviyo, they do stack up pretty well against their differently designed features on Klaviyo because the gamification really does help OmniSend. Now you can see all of these very nice templates provided by Klaviyo and the list is never ending with these and they're all very very good and professional looking and you might even think some you hired or paid hundreds of dollars to create email templates like this and for someone with, with no coding experience or no html experience getting one of these templates is really a godsend because you can really match your brand aesthetic and have a very interactive yet beautifully designed email for your marketing purposes. Now, if we were to compare this to OmniSend, if we go into their campaigns and we look at new campaign, let's just say it's a email campaign we're wanting to create. Now you can see you're just going to have a very basic kind of pre-header to add to and then you can move on to templates. So I'm going to add all of these details without boring you guys. And then I'm going to show you guys the templates here on OmniSend. Now here on OmniSend as well, you have two options to either go with a classic empty block loop or use their new email builder. And we're going to use the new email builder. And I'm going to show you guys the templates here on OmniSend. Now you can see OmniSend also has very decent looking templates but they are no comparison to Klaviyo I must say because it's very nice it's very easy you know it's a nice email template but Klaviyo does it so much more better now if email templates are something that are essential to your emailing business then you might want to even consider Klaviyo if you're really into design and all of that now just to wrap up this review, let's take a look at Trustpilot and what people have to say. So, Klaviyo has a 2.9 rating on Trustpilot and generally people are okay with Klaviyo. Some bad reviews are also here, but Klaviyo has actually replied to them and tried to help them out as well. So, that is something to take into consideration that Klaviyo replies to all of their bad reviews. Now, if we search for OmniSend here on Trustpilot, here we are. And OmniSend only has like four reviews, so I wouldn't suggest that you trust this review, but they have a 2.7 rating. And this is a bit inaccurate because of, you know, four reviews. So this person added four reviews themselves as well. But in general, both are pretty similar and both provide a very great functionality in their purpose they're gonna both are gonna serve their purpose very well i think you should opt for omnisend in most situations but if you don't like omnisend platform you can also go with klaviyo so yeah that was it i hope you guys found this video helpful and i'll catch you guys in the next video